Innovation for the great outdoors and hiking trails. Welcome back to Textination. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from a company called Lifesaver, not the candy, in the UK is Technical and Operations Director Joe Lovegrove. Hi, Joe. Hi, Fred. Thanks for having me. A oh, pleasure to see you. So you've been working for quite some time, I guess, on portable water filtration and purifying. Tell us the story here. Absolutely. So, yeah, so Lifesaver has been going for about 15 years now. Um, first set up by an entrepreneur who, who came up with the idea to, to be able to give people um, the ability to purify their water um, portably. And, and we do that very simply by just having hand pumped units. And by purifying, we mean we can remove all bacteria and most importantly, all viruses. So very well suited to humanitarian military, but also for camping and, and hiking needs uh, when you can't get access to, to, to sort of water from the tap that you know has already been treated. So, uh, yeah, we've, uh, we've, been, we've been doing this for quite a long while now. Just terrific. So there are a variety of products out, but the, and we'll talk about them perhaps, but the latest is the uh, Lifesaver Wayfarer. Tell us about the features. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we, as you say, we do a range of products to sort of suit different applications and sizes, but the, the Wayfarer is our smallest product and it's, it's sort of almost pocket size really. And, and that gives us the ability to be able to give our technology to people in the, in the sort of hiking and trekking world. And it's, it's, its size is one of its main benefits. But the, that coupled with the fact that it's a purifier, and I, again, just reiterate the fact that as a purifier, we can remove not only bacteria, cysts, but also viruses as well, importantly. Um, so it's, it's very compact, it's lightweight, and it's very easy to use. You put a hose into the, into the stream or the, the water source that you're, you're wanting to drink from, and you simply pump the unit, and it sucks the water up through a filter, and it comes out the other side, as clean, purified water. Is it going to improve the taste much? Yeah, so we also um, we also fit a carbon disc in there, which is optional. Um, but what that does is that helps remove any sort of foul taste or odor that can be in the water from, from things like algae, stagnant water, that sort of stuff. And it also helps clean up some of the heavy metals that you might expect to get in any kind of uh, fresh water source, really. Interesting. So there is a difference between a purifier and a filter. Explain it to us. Yeah, absolutely. So a, a filter uh, really gives you the ability just to clean water. And that is the general definition. Um, it's not telling you at, at what level it's actually cleaning the water. Whereas a purifier has to remove all microbiologicals. So that includes bacteria, cysts, and viruses and viruses are the smallest ones they're the ones that are the hardest to remove and they're also the most dangerous so that's why if you want the top level of security and coverage you you should pick a purifier so that is small can be carried with you like you said easily in a in a, in a backpack certainly and how long will it last so it has replaceable filters but um, a, a, a normal filter in there can last up to 5,000 litres of water. So it goes for a very long time. Um, of course, it depends on the, the source of water you're putting in there. The dirtier it is, the shorter the life. But as I say, filter elements are replaceable. So what do you tell people if they are out and about and uh, they're hiking and they're, they didn't bring enough water with them to start with, which we would recommend, I suppose, yeah. Um, what kinds of sources can they really go into any water source, a stream, a lake? It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's any source that's not salt water, basically. Um, so most of our users will be, um, I'm filtering from streams or ponds, lakes, really any fresh water source. Um, it can be still, it can be moving. You just have to be able to get this, get the supply to the product. So you have to be able to get close enough to it, of course. And as soon as you can pump water through there, you can clean the water. And you can fill up a bottle or any container that you have, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's it. So a lot of people use the, the, the sort of the standard wide neck mouth bottles, things like that. Um, and you can fill those up, which is the most convenient thing. Really terrific. So 
Um, are there emergency use applications for this as well that uh, that you're seeing? Yeah, well, um, um, I mean, we see our products used in a lot of different applications around the world. Um, we have over the years deployed, uh, you know, to, to virtually every um, continent to, to help try and bring people out of um, any kind of uh, water scarcity or poverty. Um, so we do a lot with, with aid agencies, a lot of humanitarian work, but also our products are used by people on expeditions and things like that for, for medical use. Because the water is so clean, there's, there's no viruses or bacteria, can be used for cleaning, cleaning wounds before they're bandaged, for example. Um, but yeah, at, at the moment, we're doing a lot of work with the UK government, um, supplying into uh, places where there have been natural disasters like Turkey and Syria. Uh, we're doing a big program for Ukraine at the moment. We've got a container load of, of products going from uh, our factory here in, in the UK, going straight out to Ukraine directly by road. Um, and that's to, to help with the, the water issues that they have there after the recent dam collapse. Great work. Uh, thanks for the, doing all of that. And you do have other products uh, and probably being used here in these circumstances besides the Wayfarer. Tell us about them. Absolutely. So I mentioned earlier, there's, there's different sort of sized products for different applications. Uh, and one of our most popular products uh, that I'll mention first is, is the jerry can, which is an 18 and a half litre, so a, a bigger container. And that can filter up to 20,000 litres of, of water with one filter. And they're very, very popular with uh, the military uh, UK, US military, and also um, with overlanders, so people who are taking vehicles. Because of its bigger size, they can easily be strapped to a vehicle and people will be going for weeks, maybe months, um, and they can use a jerry can, fill it up intermittently, and they have their clean water supply either on the roof or in the back of their RV, for example. Um, so this has been a really big market for us, but also for... Um, sort of smaller um, units, if you like. We've got the Lifesaver Cube, which is a, a five litre unit. And then we have different size bottles, which um, can hold between 750 mil and 330 mil. So really lots of different size products. And then there's the really big products where we can cater for a whole village. Um, we have products called a C2 and a C1. And a C2, can do half a million liters of water. So it caters for a, a village of 300 people for sort of years, if you like. Uh, and we've done recent projects with, with some of these big, bigger projects for, um, for developing nations, um, trying to get clean water to schools uh, where there's no piped infrastructure, all that kind of stuff. So, so really you know, every application, we, we have a, a product that we can um, you know, supply into. And most of us in our everyday lives don't realize what the needs are and how vital this is, right? Absolutely. I think we all take for granted in, in the first world being able to turn a tap on and drink the water from it. Um, I'm, I'm feeling safe. That's, that's the, the, the big thing. A lot of these developing nations and third world nations that we do work in, they don't have that luxury, of course. And, and actually... If, a good example is education. Children are missing their education, being down to being unwell through drinking dirty water or through having to go and collect water to bring, you know, from a clean source to bring to a family. And that takes them out of education. So when we can offer the ability to clean your own water, it can bring people back into education, makes them healthier, and obviously it has the knock-on effects uh, to the wider community. Terrific. So back to the Wayfarer, uh, tell us about pricing and uh, and availability. So uh, pricing uh, for the Wayfarer unit is uh, starts at one hundred and ten dollars for the for the bare unit, um, and then and then it's available in in all the sort of big box stores. Available in REI is, is probably the the biggest name I, I can drop to you, uh, but they're available on our website as well. Uh, which is iconlifesaver.com. Um, and yeah, we've got them in, in, in lots of the big sort of box stores around, around the States um, and on Amazon. So really, you know, the, the, 
the, the best places that you can get them from. Again, that website is icon, I-C-O-N, lifesaver.com. Joe Lovegrove, thank you for spending time with us and congratulations on the innovations there. Thank you. Pleasure to talk to you, Fred.